the next uh, topic is um, uh, Power BI governance. Um, and uh, Catherine um, is currently a BI consultant at the PM1 in uh, Hamburg, uh, Germany. Um, and she's a Power BI enthusiast. Um, and next to that, she's also the creator of all the logos of Power BI Days. So uh, big thanks to you. They are, they are great. Um, and um, I heard you also give uh, training, uh, especially the Dash Within the Days, and that you love to give them. And you've been giving four or five or even more in a row. Seven. Uh, these, oh, seven in a row. Wow. Seven in a row. Today okay. was my, my last one. So uh, <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm a little bit uh, yeah uh, exhausted, but I, I try to do my best. <laughs> I, I could, could imagine uh, indeed. OK, well, uh, the stage is yours. OK. So I will share my screen uh, one moment. Um, so hopefully all of you can see my screen. Yeah. Cool. So yes, my uh, topic is today Power BI governance, uh, the admin edition. So hopefully uh, some admins, Power BI admins are here. And um, um, yeah, we will start. And um, what's the next? Yeah. As next, um, I like to introduce myself. Um, so my name is Catherine Borchert or Catherine, uh, how do you like? Um, and yeah, I, I'm the logo creator of the Power BI Days uh, and also the uh, organizer for the Power BI Days in Germany and also Power Break organizer. So if you like, you can join us next week on uh, Monday afternoon uh, between 7 and 7.45 p.m. CST Central. Um, so yeah, if you like, you can come. Uh, but the session is in German. Uh, the next one will be in English. So in two weeks after that one. And yes, uh, what can I uh, say about me? Um, I lived in uh, the, <laughs> the abbreviation stands for uh, different. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how how you will call it regions in in Germany. So it's uh, Mecklenburg, uh, Niedersachsen, Hamburg, and Schleswig-Holstein. <laughs> Um, also, I, I'm a wife and a supervisor for two cats, so hopefully uh, they won't join us uh, now. Um, also, a uh, lover of data uh, structures, I love organizing things, uh, obsessed with Power BI, um, yeah, enjoy of craft beer. I think that is uh, good, Nikki and Mark. <laughs> so, yeah, not a yeah. problem at all. In, in German, we have uh, much beer, so I, I like beer. Um, also, I like swimming and also drawing. Um, if you like, you can uh, go to um, my blog. So it's yodabi.com. Uh, it's not uh, with Star Wars or so. It's your data and BI. <laughs> Good abbreviation for Yoda BI. Um, also, you can. Um, and connect uh, with me uh, via LinkedIn or you can follow me on Twitter. Um, yes, so I will start and um, I have some links, <laughs> so uh, don't be afraid. Um, I put all links together we uh, will use today and uh, all roles uh, and permissions you need for uh, this, what I will show you today. So you can go into, I will share my uh, um, for yeah, my my presentation afterwards, uh, so I put a link into the chat and you can go uh, through it. Uh, yes, so I think um, I will start. So the links we can see later, and I uh, bring a little uh, video. Maybe someone know this. Um, I like it very much. So uh, sh it's only a little uh, three minute uh, video, and watch it. And uh, yeah. We will see what happened. So, um, yeah, now the question, what has this to do with governance? Um, yeah, we, we switch to the next <laughs> uh, screen and we see here the, the two sides of, um, of governance. So we have uh, on one side the IT. So, for example, here's the IT department um, and uh, there you have an IT help desk um, and Yes, uh, if you are lucky, uh, you get help. If not, uh, you have these guys. Um, also, uh, you have the other side. So you have uh, a side with uh, with all the, the governance uh, things. Uh, so for example, uh, SLR, so service level agreements, um, or audit logs, guidelines, uh, community, etc. So you have, uh, you must uh, think 
of both sides uh, in the governance. And uh, yes, uh, I mark these ones because if uh, they had um, in the video before uh, these uh, guidelines or uh, is there a leadership or a help support, uh, then you will get a better support and uh, quicker answers. And yes, so if someone knows the uh, um, uh, yes, this is serious. So this is IT crowd. And um, so you need someone who can put this together. And in this case is a Jen, so from IT crowd. And she is a relationship manager and uh, she is uh, yeah, responsible to, to, um, uh, to connect the IT department uh, with, uh, with the other team, uh, departments. And so, yeah, that's uh, how this worked together. And um, now we go into uh, my uh, presentation and we have in uh, the Power BI governance strategy um, four pillars. So um, we have uh, user roles. I think this is clear. Um, it's an important aspect uh, uh, of the governance uh, strategy and uh, you have uh, separate, uh, se several roles. So for example, the Power BI admin data analyst, uh, report analyst, um, I thought, uh, I think uh, Reza uh, wrote a great uh, blog post about it uh, today and posted it on Twitter. So maybe uh, someone like to read it. It's very good. And uh, next one, we have uh, process and guidelines. So processes are also an important thing of the governance strategy. Uh, so you uh, need uh, guidelines uh, and processes to, um, yeah, to lead all the things. Um, for example, uh, do you like to get an account for or a license for Power BI? So, uh, who is responsible for it? So, you need someone who, um, yeah, uh, is a leader in this uh, case, and uh, you need someone who uh, knows uh, all the stuff. And for example, here in processes and guidelines, we have, uh, for example, deployment uh, process, uh, publishing process, and yeah, so on. Um, also, uh, we need uh, trainings and communities. I like this topic very much. So <laughs> uh, you heard uh, I've done uh, seven uh, DIAs in a row. So it's every time very exciting. And um, the questions are all different from uh, the persons. And it's, yeah, it's fun. And um, yeah, to connect these people in the company. So you can uh, do, for example, trainings uh, for the tool you like to roll out and you can um, uh, create a community website, for example. So only a, a little site on your internet and um, there you can put all the information the people need to know. And I think that that's very important uh, to, to, to let the people know who they can find these informations. And uh, at least uh, last, uh, we have the monitoring. Um, so that is the topic I, I like to go deeper uh, into. And um, yeah, uh, it's also an important um, point uh, of the governance strategy because if you don't monitor your, <laughs> your process and guidelines, then it's useless. So um, that's why you uh, have to check uh, these and you have to build a, a monitoring uh, yeah, environment or how do you call it so but uh, yes you need uh, a process to, to monitor uh, to monitor uh, those processes and, and guidelines of course right so then we will start um, I will do it uh, in theory and I will show it you uh, in, in practice so I will um, smaller my screen here and uh, at first uh, we go to the power bi um, admin portal in power bi maybe someone uh, knows this already um, so um, what uh, what role do you uh, need for this um, uh, you need uh, for example the global admin role or you can create a, a own role um, to mm -hmm. um, to go uh, into the uh, audit logs so you can create a for example an audit log uh, admin role um i can uh, th this is not part of the uh, <laughs> of the presentation but um uh, i can say uh, you find uh, this uh, thing in the office exchange admin center so there you can uh, create uh, different roles for uh, different uh, yeah, areas and uh, also uh, important aspect is uh, the default time period uh, that of it keeps the audit logs is uh, regularly 90 days. You can also uh, make it longer if you pay for it, I thought. Yeah. So let's see. Um, 
I prepared something. Um, if you like um, the whole uh, thing uh, we do today, uh, so you can uh, find on my blog post, uh, you can go there and uh, download all the templates you need for this. So you don't must write down anything. <laughs> um, so let's begin with the uh, uh, Power BI um, admin portal. Um, I'm on uh, app.powerbi.com. So everyone knows this, hopefully, not only the report server. <laughs> and on the right side, we see here uh, the little gear icon. And if we go on it, we can switch or can go to the admin portal. So this is only a, a demo tenant. So uh, it's my private uh, yeah, playground sandbox. And here you can see um, the audit logs. So you must switch it on. Uh, by default, it's not on, so you must be sure that it's on and then you can go to uh, directly to the um, admin center where you can find the audit logs so everything in the tenant is uh, yeah uh, it will be tracked but, yeah and um, if someone delete uh, a, a report or a dashboard or uh, uploaded something uh, and also you can track uh, if someone uh, use a free trial for Power BI license so that's also a topic uh, which I um, had on a blog post uh, on my website, so you can go also into this. Uh, it's very interesting to to see um, how many people are uh, use the free trial in your company, and only to see um, if uh, if they use it and what has happened if the free trial is running out. So. I think it's very important because after that they have no, um, um, yeah, they, they can't use the reports they have created in, in, in other work uh, spaces and uh, the report will, uh, yeah, will be useless after that, uh, after that period of the uh, license. So, yeah. And, okay, then let's go on. As next uh, in my presentation, um, I will see here the notification alerts. So, uh, we will go to the um, protection office and in the protection office um, we will uh, set up uh, some activity alerts and so we can do this uh, here uh, in the protection and office uh, yeah um, suit and uh, it's um, a little bit weird because in, in the German edition uh, you can uh, go to the home uh, um, area and uh, there you can uh, find a shortcut uh, to this area here but in the English version uh, it's no shortcut there so you must uh, yeah paste in this URL to get to this area that's that's really weird but I don't know why <laughs> So uh, don't ask me, I, I don't find out now why it is so. Um, yes, so here you can set up uh, some um, activity alerts. For example, um, if you like to, uh, yeah, to, to, to track um, the publish to web notification. So publish to web is a very um, yeah, delicate uh, thing, <laughs> I would say, um, because um, if you are in the Power BI tenant and you are, uh, and you aren't uh, enable uh, this function, uh, people are, uh, yes, um, or people can um, publish uh, reports with sensitive data to the web. And uh, the problem here is that this report can find by everybody on Google <laughs> because it's indexed. And uh, it's, it's really easy if you know how, uh, you can paste in uh, the search theme here in the bar and can Google uh, everything. So. I think we have nearly uh, 2,000 or over 2,000 reports um, or more uh, in the web. So um, Ruth from Kerbal did a last uh, did a great um, blog post about this, and yeah, so that inspired me to to do this uh, to uh, automate um, these activity alerts, uh, which inform you if you uh, if, if someone in your tenant uh, published a report to web. Uh, that you get an information automatically and the person who published it also so that uh, the person is aware or aware of uh, do uh, don't publish any sensitive data to the web because it can be found in google and you are informed that a person uh, had published a report so you can uh, delete for example the embed code and the embedded code you can find uh, here in the tenant under embed codes you see, uh, I have actually three. It's only demo data, so it's no problem. Um, 
but uh, if you have a, a big company and you like to uh, monitor your users, so I think it's it's important to uh, know what they do. And that's why I uh, set up a new alert policy, for example, here. Um, and then you can write down um, the term, for example, uh, published web. And as next, you can uh, search here uh, the audit log uh, for the activity alert. And if you here go to Power BI, you see uh, many activities here. I think at the time are over 118 activities. You can look for uh, three years ago, it was only 18 or 11. Um, so you see it's, it's very big what you can uh, set up and activity alerts here. And as I said, um, I used a published web. So I prepared something here, um, Power BI um, web notification and the alert is for publish Power BI report web. And as next, um, you see here is a little um, yeah, uh, instruction that you can do here. And uh, what you need for, for this uh, setup is uh, audit uh, log admin or a global admin role. And also you need a license for Office 365. Okay, then as next, uh, we must go to the, um, yeah, you, you must see how the notification uh, looks like in your um, uh, email. So for that, we uh, will go to our uh, Outlook. So after you set up this uh, activity alert, it needs time. So I think two hours, two to three hours, and then you can test it and you can publish uh, um, a report to the web. And then you will get, if you have, um, a, here set uh, up your email or uh, you sign in your email here, you get an email, send an information. It looked like this. Uh, we have detected activity related to one of your alerts. And you see here uh, my activity is a published web uh, report and the user was uh, Martina and uh, the item, uh, so the report, it was a demo report too. And I can also see the IP address and the timestamp. Okay, so I know these informations are there and now I can go on and set up a, um, an Excel file to, to store my data, which I extract here from my email. Mm -hmm. And yes, I think uh, to set up an, an Excel file, it's very easy, so I don't get into this very deep. Um, I can open uh, one of these uh, demos and you see I have only one row. And here you see the extract from the uh, email address, so the activities, the user, the element, and so on. And as next, um, we can go to my presentation back. Um, you see here, now we will create the flow so that we make this uh, automatically, uh, so that we get the automation, uh, the, the email. If, um, if someone published a, a report, that you get uh, uh, yeah, the notification automatically and the person will be informed that uh, he or she will be aware what he had published. And so we do this in uh, Power Automate. Uh, for that, you need the, the user, so you need to be a user um, and you need a license for Office 365. So I think there is no, no licensing you need for, for this one. Um, Yes, and let's uh, go to, to this area here and uh, let's see how we can do this. Um, I, hopefully, uh, some of you have uh, already used um, Power Automate. If not, go in there. It's really cool. You can automate several things. Uh, I do this all the time. Um, so, okay. <clears throat> and you see I have here uh, some flows and some of these is published to web notification new. And also I've tested it uh, uh, successfully and I go to edit that you can see my steps uh, which I had here. So at the beginning um, I have an email. So you see the email in my inbox uh, already and I will check it with you and you see uh, the... Um, yeah, oh, one moment. Uh, the subject filter uh, you can set here on publish to web notifications and uh, as next uh, the email will uh, be yeah extracted with this step html to text and then uh, you can use compose to extract the separate lines you like to have in your um, in your in your excel file uh, to store the data 
and uh, also to extract the email address to, to give the user the notification. So it's uh, already uh, in my blog post, so you can download this template, so you don't must uh, go step by step and write it by yourself. You can also import this one. And yes, so this steps compose will extract the information from the email body. And in the end, I write down, uh, or Power Automate <laughs> will write down the information into this Excel file. And after that, um, it will be sent an email to uh, the, okay, this is a training mail, but uh, it's the same thing. So um, here you can uh, put in the output from the compose and then you can write down here the text. So for example, please be aware you have published uh, sensitive data, maybe uh, please check your report twice before you publish it to web. Um, yes, so that is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's a part with the Power Automate. And then, um, if you like, uh, you can uh, build on top a Power BI report on this data. So you can uh, also write uh, the data into a SQL database, if you like, or whatever. Um, I use Excel because it's easy and, um, yeah, because it's easy. <laughs> and yeah, in the end, mm -hmm. I have created um, a report on, on this data. And you see here um, a little nice report. Um, I will go to transform data to show you what I've done here. So you see first uh, uh, in the Excel file, I have uh, one, only one row um, with the complete data, but I think all of you will know how I have uh, split this thing up. And yes, I have um, go into the, uh, into one row, have split it up into five or four. It depends on the on the uh, notification alert you have set up. So I have here several uh, notifications set up, uh, not only published for web, also uh, opt in for Power BI Pro trial, uh, create report or um, update admin feature switch. So if uh, admin uh, will switch uh, a feature or enable or disable something, so you can be also uh, be informed over this. Uh, yes, so in the end, you can, as I've mentioned, um, put this together to a nice little report. Uh, maybe you can make it a little bit nicer <laughs> looking. Um, so party, for example, it's not 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 ready. So it's only an example. <laughs> and yeah, so that that's all of my uh, presentation today um i'm i think i'm i'm just in time so i i uh, <laughs> i'm very quick today and yeah i i thank you and um if you have question uh please ask um if you like if not you can also ask me on linkedin or on twitter so i will write back if you like yeah so that was my presentation <laughs> hey catherine thanks that was great i'm great to see some automation in power automate also um I have a question uh, myself actually um, for yeah. the publish to web activity. Um, yeah. Will it be logged when you create the embed code? Yeah. Um, okay. So then you and actually if, haven't haven't yeah. uh, published anything to web yet, but you just created the embed code. If 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 you published uh, to web, then it automatically create an embed code. So and this uh, will be yeah. locked in Power Automate uh, in in uh, in the um, mm -hmm. Automate. Uh, mm -hmm. ah. Protection the are, yeah, the audit log, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but then you still have to use that embed code uh, somewhere to embed it into a website or... A, no, a no, so. you don't must embed it uh, somewhere. So it's, it's, it, it is create, so it will be tracked. It's, uh, yeah, you... yeah. True, oh, but, but, yeah, but then you have to the embed code for the for publishing it to web. Yeah. Um, and, and then you have to use that embed code to to publish it somewhere to or to display it somewhere, I mean. No, no. So it is already published because uh, if you go to uh, the, uh, the may maybe I don't understand the question, but I will share my screen. Maybe um, I, I don't understand it, um, but let 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 uh, see. So if I go to my um, admin portal and I go to my uh, this is a bad bad. Uh, decision to use this account, but uh, you see here my my <laughs> my uh, embed codes 
and yeah. I don't must uh, embed this because it's it's already on the web. So if I go yeah, here, yeah, yeah, true, yeah, yeah. So it's it's on the web, and so you can find uh, this very easy now uh, if you Google it. So yeah, I will true. don't yeah. show how <laughs> because that that that's not uh, the point here. But uh, I think uh, yeah, you you get it right. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, correct. Other questions. Um, not for me. Um, there's nothing in chat. So if you have any questions, um, please let us know. We'll be around here a few minutes more. But yeah, of course. Um, if, if not, I can go to dinner. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's also a good. <laughs> but it, but it's also okay. I can I can stay some minutes more if someone have questions. So please ask. And otherwise, they can uh, also reach you on Twitter, right? So that's uh, yeah, right, right. If if you have questions, you can can ask on Twitter or on LinkedIn. So I'm there. <laughs> okay, great. Um, and once again, post the feedback link if you would be so kind. And the recordings will also be available um, uh, later on YouTube. Uh, yeah, of and course. It will oh, be one moment, I can I can uh, post uh, my. Um, my presentation there you find all links and uh, so so on so let me see so there's my my onedrive link so if you go there you can um yeah uh, grab or download the the presentation and and look it for yourself if you have okay. the 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 roles you need for this <laughs> Yeah, you need quite some access. So, to yeah, that. yeah, or you need yeah. so, someone who had access who can give you uh, some permissions. So, yeah. Yeah, true. I um, I recently set up the, um, uh, the tenant settings um, activity. So if, mm -hmm. if someone changes the tenant setting, then I will get an email. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's also a point in my presentation. Yeah, I have also uh, tested and you can also automate this and um, put it into the uh, into the flow to trigger this and show it afterwards in a report in Power BI. Yeah, pretty cool. OK, um, so with that, um, we'd like to uh, close off then. Um, yeah. Thank you uh, for today. Um, so as you, Catherine said, um, next um, Monday, there's a, another power break yeah. uh, in German. And then two weeks later, there's one in, uh, in English. Yeah. So if you'd like to join that, uh, you're welcome to uh, register at uh, powerbidays.com also. Yeah. Um, and we are planning our next event um, in the beginning of August. I believe it's August 6th. The, when we have finalized the sessions, then um, uh, we will put the event uh, online also. So you will uh, see that later. So um, with that, I'd like to thank you uh, once again and uh, enjoy your dinner and your evening. Thank and, you. And see you all later. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. bye.